Hey friends, so today I'm going to show you how to make bone-in skin on chicken thighs with really extra crispy skin. Um, for those of us that like crispy skin, this is very desirable to have. Some people peel it off because they don't, but I like to eat it. My people like to eat it and some people like to eat it. So I've been asked to um, show how to get that crispy skin so that people can get that extra what they love about chicken. So what I have right here, okay, so I got cut myself off there. Um, so what I have here is six almost all thawed um, bone in skin on chicken thighs that I've trimmed off the extra fat and I don't throw that away and in a little bit I'll show you why. And um, I just took pink Himalayan sea salt in my salt shaker and liberally sprinkled the skin. Um, that I patted dry and everything. And you wanna be pretty liberal with that because it helps draw out the moisture and season your skin. And then I have the oven preheated to 425 and I have my oven safe pan, frying pan, that I'm going to um, sear, the, sear the chicken and then I'm gonna put the whole thing right into the oven. You don't have to do that. If you have a fry pan um, that doesn't go in the oven, you can still do this you just need to have a baking sheet a baking sheet or a baking dish of some kind that will fit um, all of your chicken thighs in it so that you can transfer them from the fry pan into the baking sheet and put them in the oven so uh, as soon as the oven is in preheating I will start the process of this but I'm gonna let them have the salt on them for a little bit all right, I'll be right back. Okay, so the oven's preheated to 425. I have turned on my pan to eh, medium high-ish range. Okay, so next, my chickens are all nice and salty. So next, I'm gonna take these skins with the fat on them and render the fat off of them to get the pan ready. chicken bacon if you think about it. There's just no meat on it. <laughs> so, you can see how the cat is already rendering off of it. And you just mix it up a little. A little smoke coming off the pan. your sides, skin side down, and lay them around your pan. <laughs> Hard day. Just close this and do it at the same time and I've never done it before. Okay? Skin side down. That's very, very important. You see it smoking because the uh, uh, because that pan is very hot right now. But once you get all the chicken in there, it'll calm down a little. <laughs> all right, here we go, last one. Okay, so there we have it. And then, okay, so while I was waiting, I mixed a teaspoon of garlic salt and a teaspoon of just the seasoning here. And so now you're going to sprinkle it over this part of the meat. You can use whatever seasoning you want. This is going to be like the flavoring part of your, uh, the underside. And you can see it's not like a rip roaring. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit in the bottom because once you put the crispy skin side up, you are going to sprinkle this. So, give a little bit. You forget that's okay. You can just put pepper on it. Or garlic salt or whatever you like. So, you got a little bit left in there. So, 
that is just going to do that for a minute. And I'm still taking changes. Uh, it, it's just going to sit there. So I'll bring it back in to save it. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little louder because I feel so I can make sure you hear me <laughs> over the um, sound of the frying. So it's just been frying long and some of the skin, uh, you want to fry them until you get a little bit of color. Um, if the skin is sticking, some of it you might have to work it off if it's sticking, but for the most part if it's sticking, it's probably not quite uh, brown yet enough. That one in the middle is going to be a little browner because that's my hot spot in the pan. Um, so you can see they're sticking out nicely. What I do at this point, once they're all loosened, um, if you have one, like this one over here was sticking pretty bad and not coming up, and I just, I just, I just, I just tilted, lifted up and tilted so that the fat got down with it, and it's kind of like, you know, when sticking leaves, the skin fries and fat, so. Okay, so then what I do, because I do have hot spots on this pan, is first, I don't flip it, but I turn it around so that this side can be on the inside, because sometimes that helps with the frying of the skin, okay? So... And it, every every one of these little things does matter, so it's important that you do it because you might get a big blob, uh, area, a big blob or something. The middle one probably isn't such a big deal. Yeah, that one's probably not such a big deal because it gets the hottest. That's why I typically put the biggest piece in the middle. So there's that step, and I will be right back. Okay, so about a little later. Um, at this point, you're just checking your skin to see how dark it's getting because you don't want it to get too dark. Um, so if they're getting nice and dark at this point, if you have most of them how you want them, because you're going to basically put them to be as brown as you want them. Right? This one in the middle is going to so so I'm going to lift that up there. This one right here is a little bit lighter, so I'm going to put that one in the middle and put this guy over in what seems to be a cooler spot. So let's go down there. And then you just kind of wait at that point until all of your skins are exactly how you would want to eat them if you were to eat the skin right now. Okay, that only took a little bit. So now every single one, there's that middle one, every single one is beautifully brown and crispy from side to side and absolutely gorgeous. I wasn't on the wrong you right now. <laughs> I didn't end up having to use this, these um, steps again. But sometimes in the past I've gotten um, spots that have gotten a little dry and there wasn't as much fat. So I just take one of those and stick it in that spot, render off a little fat, and we're good. This is a really frugal way of not, um, you know, of using a resource that you have and not using like the basic fat or something. Um, and olive oil is just far too hot for olive oil. So, I wouldn't recommend that. It would use a lot of smoke. Okay, so at this point, you're just going to throw it over. Like that. Oh, 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 so pretty. Alright. Put them over onto the bottom side. Turn your heat off. Sprinkle your top with some of that seasoning if you'd like to. have to do this. It's already salted, so it's fine. Some people, I like to put herbs on it. Um, this time I'm just using this one. It's like a char, a, a grilling mix. So, and then after that, the only other step is to take it and either put it in your baking dish or put it in your oven. And you're going to have it in there on 425 for 45 minutes before you even check it again. It'll be fine, I promise you, for 45 minutes unless you have absolutely teeny tiny. But the nice thing about dark meat is that it's very forgiving. It takes a lot to dry out <laughs> bone in size. So, and I'd rather have a little bit be a tiny bit drier than have them be not cooked enough. So 45 minutes to an hour is my gap of time usually. Um, 45 minutes usually does it, especially with the cooking process already started and the pan so searing hot already. So. It might take you a little longer if you're putting it into a baking dish that is cold, but 
at this point you would just put it in your baking dish and put that in the oven you would just put it with the skin side up so yeah that's that part and I will pull it out and show you the final result when they're done cooking. So I just wanted to show you guys that I took the last of that skin, the chicken skin. I'm actually turning the chicken, even from the chicken, into a chicken soup. My husband and daughter are sick, so I'm, in, I'm making them a, a chicken soup for dinner tonight. Um, and instead of using like butter or olive oil in the bottom of the pan, I just roll it around and rendering off the last bits of that before I throw the onions and garlic in. So, whoa. So yeah, there's that. So that's just uh, one really frugal tip for how to save some money and save your other fats for other things. So yeah, <laughs> I just want to throw that in there. Okay, you guys. So here it is, the final product. I just pulled them from the oven. It was 45 minutes and they are crispy and cooked all the way through and mmm absolutely delicious so typically I would serve this with sides after it cooled down for a little bit if you do a dish a pan in the oven if you do an oven safe pan please please I burned myself so many times when I first started doing this because I would forget that this was piping hot so now I just put my oven mitts right on the handle <laughs> I literally burnt myself very badly quite a few times I think I would learn so usually we would just serve this with sides and I'd pull it out at dinner time but today I'm making sticky buster soup so um this is gonna get some of them are gonna get pulled off and put into the soup for my husband and daughter for their dinner and some of them is gonna be my dinner before I got tonight all right well that's it uh, I hope that you, this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you try and make it as soon as you can because it's really delicious if you like crispy skin chicken or if you don't like skin but somebody in your family does you can peel it off and give it to them <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it I hope you feel like you're in more informed now and you're a better cook because that's what I aim to do I love to equip people to make good things on their own from their own kitchen um, it saves a lot of money in the long run and it helps you not feel so needing to go out to eat all the time to get good food when you know how to make it yourself so if there is any other ideas that you guys have for something you'd like to make from scratch um, I'd love to if I make it from scratch regularly and I know how to do it I'd love to do a video on it um, just let me know in the comments down below or uh, leave a comment if this is on Facebook uh, if you like this video I'd love it if you could give a thumbs up if you like videos like this then subscribe and hopefully i'll be able to do things that people want to see in the near future okay have a great day guys be blessed bye hey so i wanted to do one last um pop in here uh i, <laughs> I actually forgot when you salt the skins that's plenty of salt for all the seasoning so when if you want to add seasoning after that make sure that it's like pepper or garlic powder or something like that because if you add another salted seasoning on top of the salted skins um, before you put them in the oven it's likely it's gonna be a little too salty so um yeah these ones were a little too salty uh, which isn't a terrible thing but if you're sensitive to salt um, then just make sure that you use like herbs and pepper and um, non non salted spices because otherwise you add that onto the salted skin it's probably gonna be too spicy when it's all said and done so just wanted to throw that in there and so make sure that you your results were something that you wanted to eat <laughs> okay bye guys